Hey guys, what's up? It's Uberhu, and today I've got a SND gameplay commentary for you. Uh, a couple of these rounds are a little slow, just uh, by the way I play the game. On this first round, uh, not much too happens. I try to get this kill, uh, and I end up just getting an assist, and that's about it for this round. So I'll, I cut to the next one. Um, and this round, I get a couple more kills. Uh, so my plan for this commentary is just to kind of give you guys an insight as to my thought process uh, in a step-by-step, round-by-round kind of thing. And so, as I've said before, um, I'll never really run the exact same route two rounds in a row unless I don't bump into anybody. If I find somebody on a route, I'm going to alter it at least in a little way, um, you know, so I'm not as predictable or people, you know, aren't waiting at the same spot for me every time. So this guy gets uh, highlighted on the mini map and uh, go and get the easy kill. And what I like to do on Sea Town, anyways, is I like to sit underneath like those little uh, walkways and stuff and just try to sound whore as best I can. Um, and so uh, they planted B, and lucky enough, I looked back at their spawn to make sure that there wasn't anybody coming there, and uh, I got the better of that guy. I think he was ADSing, so he wasn't prepared for me to come around that corner. And this guy I heard, uh, I thought he would have been in that corner to begin with, but uh, once again I get lucky with my shots. And then I think there's just one guy left, and it's me and Cartel versus one guy. We got 15 seconds to defuse. And uh, kind of popping in and out, trying to distract him, see if Cartel can get behind him, but uh, I end up getting the kill there too, and the defuse. So I'm working on my specialist kill streaks here. I've got the first three, and I just need two more to get specialist. Now, if you haven't seen one of my SND commentaries before, um, I like to play this game type very methodically. Um, when I'm playing on defense, my object is to not die, basically. Um, I don't want to really go out and rush into their spawn and try and get as many kills as possible. I'm playing to win the round, so in order for the enemy team to win when I'm on defense, they have to plant the bomb and defuse it, or kill all of us. So as long as I'm alive or, you know, the bomb doesn't go off, then we get a round win. And so here, uh, one of the spots I like to hang out, uh, like I said, underneath these little walkways, because you can get a lot of sound horn from above, behind you, where their spawn is, and coming down that right hallway, a little tunnel type thing. And so here, I think I'm the last one left, and I think there's three of them. I'm not sure on that, um, and I hear this guy planting the bomb, so I go and get him, and then this guy gets a lucky headshot. I think I would have killed him if I would have got one or two more bullets in, but uh, his gun kicks up and hits me in the face. Um, but yeah, that's my basic overall plan on defense, is to force the enemy to plant the bomb or come to me. Uh, I don't really want to put myself in harm's way when I'm on defense. And now we're switching sides. And uh, here I have kind of the exact opposite game plan when I'm on offense. If I'm on a map where I have the bomb and with extreme conditioning I can run and sprint to the bomb and quick plan it, that's what I want to do. But you have to be smart about it. Um, you know, you got to have teammates around you or to be coordinating with other people. And you'll see in a later round here where I have the opportunity to plant the bomb, but I don't because... Um, there's none, you know, none of my teammates are around, and you know, I'm pretty much in their spawn, but none of my teammates are able to um, help me out in any way. So once again, I'm just sound whoring around this corner, and this guy's shooting, and I can hear him coming, so uh, that was an easy kill. And then here, I hear another guy coming around the corner, a couple easy kills. And then I see this uh, motion sensor at the end. And I don't even know where I got shot from there, but I just kind of retreated back and let my health regen. And so as you can see from the scoreboard there, it's three on three. Uh, I shoot this C4 just for safe, safe measure. He's not going to be able to kill me. And then I go uh, up into another spot where I haven't been all game. And I'm just going to kind of sound whore it out and see if anybody you know, comes my way, comes down low by the A bomb site there or not. And it's me and one guy versus three guys. And this round I remember uh, specifically because we had really good communication. Uh, he's talking to me, I'm talking to him. It's just some random guy in our lobby too, so. Uh, 
it's really nice to have somebody in there that you can trust. And there's that uh, motion sensor again. I thought about shooting it because uh, I didn't know, you know, what perks this guy was running or whatever. But um, if I were to do that, it's going to take a lot of bullets for me to hit it from that distance, and I might, you know, they might see my bullets coming from uh, down the hallway there. And so we got about 30 seconds left, and we got to plant this bomb. I thought I heard somebody in this room to my left, so I go to throw a flash. And this guy, I think, was just waiting for me the whole time. I don't know what he was doing, but just sitting there waiting. And uh, we end up getting a round loss there. And so this one, I pick up the bomb, and I don't... I try to go for the quick plants. I mean, I get to A really easily, and nobody's really in my way. But I think I don't plant it for whatever reason. No, we'll see here pretty quick. So see, I could plant it right now. I don't think anybody's coming. Wait for the UAV. Thought a guy might be coming around that corner. Double check to make sure nobody's coming down the hallway. And this would have been the best time for me to plant. And the only reason I can think I didn't is because it's basically me and Cartel. I can see him, you know, kind of to my left now, um, out on the street side. But he's taken out. And so I really have no teammates um, around me to help defend the bomb. And so this guy's painted by Recon. That's really easy. You know, Recon's a great perk for search and destroy. Uh, I'd normally wear it, but I prefer the extreme conditioning so I can get around places a lot faster. And so I know there's a guy around this corner. I know he's camping right in here. I didn't expect him to have a riot shield, and then there's a sniper camping in their spawn too, so uh, I just get unlucky in that one. Uh, I think that's my last death, though, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, here we go, same route, seeing as I really didn't run into anybody, I'm going to run the same area. And I actually go for the quick plant, I believe. Or no, maybe not the quick plant. You see that guy sitting back there. Same guy comes around that same corner, and uh, I think he, he was rage uh, talking after I killed him there. But uh, I don't go for the plant because that guy saw me there. And as you can see, my enemies are way in the back. Uh, the guy uh, from previous rounds that I was having good communication with, he's got a reaper up in the air, so he's taking guys out. And um, now I go for the plant, because Cartel's over here, I see some more greenies moving up, and the reaper's doing work, so I figure why not get uh, a plant. And I tried to warn Cartel about that uh, sentry gun in the back, but it was a little too late. And I don't remember, if, I think we get all the kills is how we win this round. Yeah, there's going to be a guy coming around the corner here. And so when I plant the bomb on offense, I want to have maybe not a direct line of sight to it, but I want to be close enough to either, you know, hear somebody running around, uh, picking up the bomb, or, you know, I want to have a direct line of sight on it. You know, it can be from really far away. I mean, I can shoot my weapon from far away and get a kill either way, so. Uh, I just want to have visual or sound awareness of the bomb area, and that way we can get the round win. So we push it into overtime here, and we switch sides. So we're back to defense, which is, in my opinion, uh, on most maps, the better side to have, especially in an overtime situation, uh, because it puts the pressure on the offense where they either have to kill everybody again or um, they have to plant the bomb. So I run my same middle route. Nothing really happens here. Uh, just sound horror and see, you know, who's running around. And I hear a guy out to my right here. I didn't expect him to be down in that corner, and lucky enough, he didn't shoot me or he didn't see me or whatever, but uh, that's the only kill I get for this round. And we end up picking up the win uh, thanks to uh, Starscream there. I think Cartel gets a couple kills, but uh, not sure. Um, that about does it for this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you could, leave a like. It uh, really helps me out. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more Black Ops gameplays, commentaries, I think, in the upcoming future. So uh, keep an eye out for those. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.